craziness at a car wash in Sacramento, California. A 94-year-old man blasting through this automated car wash at high speeds, barreling through, knocking out machinery. As shocked employees ran for cover and then narrowly missing another customer just pulling away. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York. Here with more, Dina Abu Salem, ABC News producer in Los Angeles. And this video, unbelievable to watch. What happened? Yes, um, the incident happened last Friday, and um, apparently a car, uh, a car, a, a, an old man just paid for his car wash and then slammed through the whole wash area. And I spoke with the company's representative, and he tells me that the man was driving a white Oldsmobile, guessing it was 10 years old. And after the accident, the old man said he confused gas and brake, got nervous, and couldn't stop. And cars are usually in neutral when, when they enter the wash system and get pulled in through the conveyor system. But this car just rammed through straight through. So it was purely just a matter of he just got confused about the about about which pedal was which apparently. Uh, yeah, uh, he was. He's just an old man, and I spoke to an eyewitness there who works there, and he said he just fumbled. He he didn't know what happened to his leg, and he just pressed on the gas. Wow, it's amazing, and it's amazing that no one got seriously hurt from that. Dina Abu Salem from our bureau in Los Angeles. Dina, thank you for that. I want to bring thank in you. Mitch. Shively, manager of the Quick Quack Car Wash in Sacramento, where this all happened. Mitch, what happened? Uh, basically, we had just processed the gentleman's order at the cash register, and um, from what we learned after the fact, he just said that as he pressed onto the gas, um, something happened with his leg, and he was unable to lift his leg off of the accelerator. Um, I, heard, I was in the office at the time watching on the cameras, and I just heard the car rev up like, like somebody had just gunned the gas. And uh, we all ran, to, ran out to see what was going on, but he just he couldn't stop. He, he couldn't lift his, his foot off the accelerator and basically sped through the entire wash. By the time he got through the middle of the wash, he was probably going 30 to 40 miles an hour. Um, he was able to still steer, thankfully, and negotiate his way through the wash. Um, and out the, out the end of the wash and ended up, you know, completing his accident, crashing into our vacuum uh, posts and destroyed his vehicle. Airbags went off. Uh, the car was towed straight to a wrecking yard. He, he beat it up pretty good. But thankfully, you know, our major concern with it was he was unharmed and that no one, you know, that worked at the wash was uh, injured. Um, we were just lucky that there was no one in the wash at the time, which normally there is. And, you know, we had another customer that was just vacuuming her car out in, the, in that exact vacuum stall and had just pulled out about five seconds before impact. So um, thankfully, everyone was OK. No one was injured. Um, did destroy quite a bit of the wash, but we were able to get it back up and running in a couple of days. And um, just thankful that the gentleman is OK. That is absolutely the bottom line, Mitch. You're pointing out there that everyone is OK in this because you look at just things. It could have gone horrifically wrong for this. I mean, if you look at the end of the video there, you see, as you were pointing out, Mitch, that he slams into one of those vacuums, and that's basically what stopped him from then going out onto the street. You see traffic coming in. I mean, literally seconds could have made all the difference of how this outcome could have been much worse. Everyone is okay. That is the good news. Unfortunately, a lot of damage to your property. Yeah, there was pretty extensive damage. Uh, we have quite a few of the pieces of equipment in there that were completely torn from their hinges and laying on the ground and, and damaged and dented. Um, but, you know, as far as we're concerned as a company, you know, th stuff can be fixed. You know, people sometimes cannot. So we're just thankful that our employee that stands at the beginning of the tunnel to guide people into the wash uh, was able to get out of the way in time and that he was able to negotiate his way somehow through the wash. I mean, he could have completed his accident inside of the building and it could have been much, much worse. So, um, yeah, it was quite the bizarre accident and, and occurrence. And, you know, we never, you know, it is quick quack, but we, he took quick to a whole new level, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, thankfully, you know, everybody was okay. That was yeah, I'm guessing thing. something like this has not happened before. No, no. I mean, yeah. We've never had anybody that, you know, generally sometimes when people pull into the wash and we stop them in position, you know, and instruct, instruct them to put their car in neutral and no brakes, you know, sometimes we'll have a customer that leaves their car in drive or, or might even put it into park or reverse, um, and we're able to correct that, you know, very easily. But I've never had someone from, from 
all the way from the cash register line, you know, accelerate and drive straight through the wash like that hasn't occurred. Mitch, we apologize for the damage that was done, but obviously, as you pointed out many times, we are very thankful that everyone was okay from all of that. Mitch Shively from Sacramento. Mitch, thank you so much. You can keep up with the store in real time by downloading the ABC News app, starring the story for exclusive updates on the go. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York.